Hi everybody, I'm Shiba Mike Chizidek. You're looking at Catch the Vibes. Today, I'm going to meet Jonathan Neret, a singer, musician, and actor from Miami. At the age of 12, Jonathan began to write and record demos on his father's laptop. But being shy to show his work, it took him three years to build the confidence and showcase his talent at his school. Jonathan hoped nothing but spread love through his music. Yes, my brother. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, good. good. All good. Yeah, man. Yeah, all good. All good. Yeah. So en enjoy your That's little true. experience again in London. Yes. Yeah, because you've been back again. Back again, bro. Time. Yeah. I uh, love it here, and every time you yeah. come, it's just always an adventure. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. So please, brother, let tell us about your music. And... Uh, well. My music, uh, I call it the Roots Evolution, uh, due to the fact it's a blend of sounds. Uh, so we take uh, sounds from the root, the older music, and music from today, kind of fuse it to create something new in our time. So it's the evolution of the music that came before. Yeah. So Roots Evolution music, you find all types of sounds, funk, country, reggae, sure, sure. hip hop, rock and roll. Your, all your favorite genres in one. Nice, yeah. nice. So you know what? Now, we've been talking before the interview, so I know, I kind of understand more the... But my question was before uh, we talked. You know, when I listen to your music, I feel... I feel like Marley influence in yeah. way. Yeah. So can you explain to us how that comes? Uh, sure, I mean, there's definitely a Marley influence on that is one of the uh, main musicians that I grew up listening to, so there's a huge influence and I grew up watching, uh, you know, his performances on, on TV and YouTube. I wasn't born mm -hmm. during that time and watching the family perform. So that is, he's been a very big influence on my life for sure, as well as many others. But that he is definitely one of one of uh, the biggest. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Nice. So you got a music video out. I mean, yeah. It's already been hard for quite yes. a while, but I like the tune. It's Luna. Can you tell us mm -hmm. a bit about this tune and the videos? And Sure. So I wrote this song Luna a couple years ago. Um, I moved to California and I don't know, the song just uh, came to me. Like one one day, I was just sitting down watching TV um, in the living room, and this melody just came into my head. And something had told me just to record it, and it ended up, I recorded the keyboard for uh, the instrumental, and it ended up being Luna. The song pretty much wrote itself. Nice. I want to say in like 10 minutes, it just, I don't even want to take credit for writing it. I feel like it was just, this king, yeah, yeah. 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 No, nice. So you know what, we're just gonna have a quick look at the video. Nice video, nice, 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 look at it. Won't you come over, love, hold me, squeeze me, touch me, never leave me, bring your body close to mine. Won't you come over, love, and hold me, squeeze me, touch me, never leave me, a queen so divine. Won't you come over, love? So, tell us, you know, as a, as a, you know, artist, you know, you independent artist, yes. what do you find the most difficult? Uh, the most difficult, I would say, just spread, I uh, spreading the music. Why I say that is because being an independent artist, you don't really have that backing from other companies or people. So you find yourself having to do everything on your own. Sometimes it can be um, a burden and it could, mm -hmm. it's a lot of weight on your shoulders to carry, but you know, we push through still. But I, I would mm -hmm. say that's the hardest part, just doing it on your own and trying to fund everything yourself. Yeah, I believe, I believe. So, um... What are your plans for the future? What, how do you see your musical career um, in the future? Well, 
wherever life takes me, really. But um, I would like to definitely indulge into film in the future. To film? Film. As an actor? As an actor, but also just as a Because you, you're too. also an actor as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to eventually, like, score films and just music videos, like films. And you know, that's one of my biggest things, movies and, and films. So right, definitely so incorporating that into the music. All right, all right. Cool, but if you don't mind to give us a little flavor of your music yeah, and your voice. You, sure, I'll give you a new one. This one is called Linda. Yeah, cool. cool. Oh, Linda, I'm a Paul and Mary's white figure. Not to mention your smile got bigger. From the last time that I met you, I remember, oh, Susie, curly hair, sweet stare like in the movies, but she's a real movie star, truly. <laughs> oh, 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 my Susie. Oh, woo. So that all that sounds really yeah. good. You, I think you should just check his links <laughs> and check all his music and everything that's coming up. And thank you again, brother, thank you. for coming in London. And no. Visit us and give us some good vibes on this day. Yeah, yeah, man, I know that. I know yeah. that. Bless, respect. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching. Check out my brother's Jonathan's content on the link below. Thank you. Stay safe.